everyone, it's Raquel with The Lady and Her Stamps, and today we are going to be making this card right here. This is a card that I have for class tomorrow night, and I thought I'd come and teach you guys, as well as the people in my class. This, um, I will say that this little stamp set called Home to Roost, which is the one that we'll be using, I honestly thought that it was going to be a lot to <clears throat> try and figure out how I was going to color the bird. I am so fearful of coloring that um, it stops me from sometimes from uh, making cute projects. So I wanted to try my best today to try and bring this to you and do my best at coloring as well. So this is, again, this is the card that we'll be making right here. And I'm focusing on the actual stamp and the coloring but let me let me put this to the side and let's just assemble the card itself and it's a basic card size five and a half four and a quarter and I have already pre-embossed this this is with the honeycomb or hexagon hexagon um, embossing folder and I'm going to use dimensionals to put that up on and I know I want that up on the top of my card so I'm going to put dimensionals on right there and then I'm take those off take the backings of them off and then adhere this to my card base make sure that's straight and then we can go ahead and get started with the rest of the card. So you have a couple little frays there. Here we go. Okay, so that's the base of my card is done. So I'm just going to tuck that right there until we get to the stamping and all that sort of stuff. Let's do that now. So I am going to use this image, the rooster image, and also this kind of leafy wheat sort of in the background. I'm going to use them both and I'm going to bring out my stamp and I'm going to use stays on ink for the rooster and I'm going to ink ink up my rooster really good. We're using cling stamps today. Cling stamps are new from Stampin' Up! and they when they say cling they seriously do cling. They stay on so so good. So here is, I'm going to stamp my rooster first, and I'm going to stamp them kind of right there, in the, almost in the middle. And so I have my rooster down there. Then I'm going to use crumb cake, and I'm going to come in with my crumb cake. There we go. And I'm going to use the wheat. I'm going to use the crumb cake for the wheat. And I'm going to ink that up really well. And then I'm just going to stamp off over here to the side. And it's not an exact, you don't have to have it exact or anything like that. But you do want to just make sure it's on there. Okay. And as that crumb cake dries, it will kind of set off to the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to start coloring our image here. And I wanted to have... Uh, the blue which is Bermuda Bay and I am like I said I'm not perfect at coloring so I use the pencils but I also am going to be using Stampin' Blends which you'll see here in a minute. I'm using this is Bermuda Bay and this is the pencil again. I do have the blends but for some reason I just thought the pencils would be good just for that part there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my cherry cobbler and this is the dark cherry cobbler and what I'm going to do with that is I just want to do a couple of the leaves here, or leaves, <laughs> feathers right there and then kind of right just like that, kind of feather it up just like that and then use my light cherry cobbler and so the Stampin' Blends have two sides and then one is a side that you can use that's more precise and then the other side is one for brushing for just kind of brushing down. 
and this is the light. So I'm going to go down and then up to pick up some of that color that I did have there with the dark. And it's not till now that you can actually see that dark color in there. And I want to get the tail end of my rooster there. And then I will do top of my rooster just like that. And then right here and this part, honestly, because it's really small, you just want to do like little dots. You don't have to do all the brushing and anything, which might be good with your other end of your Stampin' Blends. And let's do, this is crumb cake. And I'm going to go ahead and do crumb cake right here at the bottom. And this, <clears throat> this one is the light. So I'm going to come in with the dark. I forgot to pull that one down the dark crumb cake and here is my dark crumb cake so I do want it a little bit darker here we go for my rooster and just kind of connecting the bottom to the top there and there you go there I have my rooster now I want to make sure that I just have in all those little colors, <clears throat> the different colors on there. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. And I am by no means, um, you know, just a, a um, master at doing these, doing the coloring. But I certainly did want to make sure I tried to, you know, make something really pretty. So now we're going to adhere this to our oval, and I did the layering oval shapes. So there's my layering oval shapes, and I did the scallop and the regular circle size there. And then, so this is going to go here, but we've got a couple more steps I want to do first before I actually just adhere that on. <clears throat> the first thing I want to do, I need to make my bow for sure, and we're going to use this and I forget what this is called. I think it's the twine. I always forget. Sometimes I get on camera and then almost always just forget. I need to write them down. I will be writing them down for the future. So there's my bow. And I'm just going to snip off the ends there just so that they're even. Okay. And I want to use some. I'm going to use some glue dots to put on that bow and just really quick use my paper piercer and adhere my bow right there and I also am using if you can see right there I have two of these gold dots there <clears throat> excuse me those are metallic pearls and I'm going to adhere two of those right here to the bottom just like that he looks pretty handsome my little rooster and then the last thing that we're going to do is stamp the sentiment and this I'm going to stamp in cherry cobbler the sentiment says birthday wishes so if you actually took off the bow, I could kind of see this as a masculine card. If you took off the bow, maybe? What do you think? <laughs> I think that sometimes I put, well, no, I put bows on everything. But sometimes if, like, I think if you didn't have certain things in it that, you know, you could use it for another purpose. So, like, this could be totally without the bow it could be a masculine card what do you think let me know definitely let me know so I'm using this uh, label punch here to cut out birthday wishes just like that and with the birthday wishes I'm going to use the mini glue dots to adhere that to my project just one on each end and then take off the back 
I guess we should adhere down the, the rooster first, right? So, let's see. Let's use the big blue dots. I mean, the big dimensionals, not the mini dimensionals. Let's do, let's just do three. See where that gets us. We'll do three, and then take the rooster and kind of do them the same way we did that one. Put them right there. And then pick up our birthday wishes. And then put birthday wishes right there. And there you go. How cute is that? Very cute little card. Easy, easy to make. Do not be afraid of doing the watercoloring or even coloring with your pencils if you're unsure or kind of, you know, hesitant about using the Stampin' Blends. The Stampin' Blends are perfect. You can definitely, definitely use these, but also use these because you could use a spritzer with it, uh, make more of a watercolor with it as well, and I promise you they'd come out really, really cute. So these are my cards for my project today. I hope you like them, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button down at the bottom and please come back for more. And if you like the video, if you learned anything, please click the like. I'd also appreciate that too. <clears throat> so thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.